Hi everyone. Welcome to RK PhD. My name is Megha and here I share information on PhD admission process, planning PhD years and beyond in a clear and concise format. Today's video is especially for first year PhD students where I will be sharing some tips on pre-PhD coursework. Pre-PhD coursework is mandatory in all PhD programs not only in India but across the globe. Ministry of Education and UGC already have detailed rules and guidelines for the same. As a first time registered PhD student, I know how confusing this stage can be. As you are trying to understand your institute and department, you are also required to register for courses that too in just 2 or 3 weeks. This is why I bring today some answers to the most asked questions. A. What is a coursework and why do we have to do it? B. how and from where to select courses c how to maximize benefit at this stage so let's begin a what is a pre phd coursework basically it is a set of courses that you need to take as prescribed by your department through your research committee which also includes your supervisor it is compulsory for all phd program types including part time for more details on phd program types do check out my previous video the only exemption that is provided by few institutes are for those having a post graduate degree from a cfti with a cgpa greater than 8.5 total duration for coursework varies generally it is 1 to 2 semesters for pg degree holders and 2 to 3 semesters for ug degree holders the number of courses to be taken depends upon the credit requirement which also varies across institute and so is their passing grades along with courses majority of institute also have a requirement of a seminar which can be one or two depending upon their phd ordinance now the question comes why do we have to do it well to answer that i would like to give two scenarios here scenario 1 ideally if a coursework stage is strategized well then it adds to your academic strength enhancing your research capabilities especially the knowledge on research methods and academic writing which is a prerequisite to do a quality research besides if you choose subjects in relation to your research area it advances your knowledge on the same the second scenario is when it is not strategized well then it loses its purpose the courses becomes a repetition of your pg level training ultimately leading to a burden and a waste of time hence it is important to make an informed decision before you choose the courses and how exactly you do that is answered in my next point how to select courses and what are the different options the selection of courses can be decided on the following points a select the ones which are mandatory by ministry of education or ugc like research methodology and research and publication ethics another important one is a course on technical or academic writing b look at courses on data analysis which can help you improve your statistical knowledge or qualitative data analysis and interpretation techniques you can even register for courses teaching softwares which you think might be useful for your phd work if there is a doubt do ask your senior colleagues and do not forget to take reviews of all these courses from previous students lastly see courses related directly to your phd topic which will be the most interesting and engaging ones to attend now we come to the different options from where you can select these courses look at course list within and even outside department but remember select the ones not done in your previous degree and the ones which you think will give you new knowledge nowadays institutes are open to the idea of online courses as part of pre phd coursework which you can find at various platforms like these but again you need to verify from your phd ordinance or phd office about their acceptance another option is when you don't find an interesting course offline or online is to create one with the help of a faculty it is called a self study course which requires approval from research committee and institute along with specific detailed guidelines which can be found in respective phd ordinance last is the audit course which is taken on purely interest basis of the candidate sitting for exams for an audit course is not required and even if you do sit the grades are not added to your coursework final grade so basically it is an addition 
over and above the required courses for phd coming to the last question how to strategize well and maximize benefit at coursework stage the first suggestion here is to utilize the time efficiently besides attending classes completing assignments and sitting for tests take out time to complete your literature review many a times it is seen that those candidates who utilize their first semester saves a lot of time on their overall phd period especially as it gives you chance to prepare for the comprehensive stage try to also participate in departmental activities like conferences seminars or guest lectures so that you become aware about the kind of research activities of your department try to get involved in your supervisor's ongoing projects you can offer your voluntary help as required if you have moved into a new city do travel and take out time to explore the city to know its culture and cuisine because it is the best time to do this lastly if there is any doubt do not hesitate to consult your senior colleagues i know it may sound that there is a lot that i am suggesting you to do but trust me if you just attend classes you will lose a lot on other factors these factors build a foundation on the art of networking and collaboration which you will realize in future as you will move along the ladder of academics so be prepared to work and have some fun when you register for the first time in phd after all this is the beginning of an adventurous journey ahead meanwhile please feel free to comment or question below till then see you next time bye bye